The European Union's audiovisual sector will not be included in negotiations on a major trade pact with the United States, the EU's Education, Youth, Culture and Sport Council has been told. The reassurances came from EU Trade Commissioner Carol de Gucht, who leads negotiations on the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership on behalf of the EU. The request of culture ministers, but also in general of the European Council, to exempt the audiovisual sector from these negotiations is something which he will keep to faithfully. This is very important. The cultural sector, including audiovisual works, has always enjoyed different treatment in international trade negotiations, in part to help guarantee Europe's cultural diversity. But the United States remains keen to put the issue up for negotiation despite Europe's red lines. In the sport format, the ministers encouraged EU countries to develop policies and action plans for eliminating gender stereotypes and promoting gender equality in sport. This includes the prevention of gender-based violence and protecting victims of harassment. The Council urged members to consider registration systems, interviews or reference requirements to ensure that only suitable people work in sport, particularly with minors. As the financial crisis places a heavy burden on countries hosting major sports competitions in Europe, the ministers also discussed ways to promote the long-term economic, social and environmental benefits of major sport events. In the youth segment, ministers adopted a resolution on an EU work plan for youth. The plan aims to develop jobs and learning opportunities for young people as youth unemployment rates in Europe soar. The plan is set to run for 18 months and will be evaluated toward the end of next year.